Okay, we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at uh, how to use the balance table function that I've shared with you earlier. And I'm going to use uh, an, another script that's a simpler script that's just a script of the function. Uh, and we'll see how to, how to use it. And this function creates a balance table of two um, conditions, a treatment and control. If you have three conditions, a control, a treatment one, treatment two, then you should create a new variable that is equal to zero for the control group and one for either treatment one or treatment two. So that's simple enough. You just use mutate to create a new variable that's you know, any treatment you could call it, or treat any, or treat new, and it takes on the value, you use if else, it takes on the value zero if it's the control, and takes on the value one if it's not the control. So that way you'll have a variable that just has two values, treatment, control. And for balance, we'll be looking and seeing whether there's any difference in the means between the treatment and the control groups. So here's the script you see in front of you with uh, the balance table function. It starts here. It's called balance table frame. Um, and uh, it's a function uh, of the variables, of the treatment variable, and of the data set. So when you write the, uh, when you use this function, apply it, you'll have to have three things in the parentheses. What's the data set? What's the variable that's the treatment variable? Like I was just saying, it could be called any treat or treat any or treat new or whatever it is that you call it. That's what it will be. Uh, and then the variables that you want for the balance table. So that would be a list of variables, uh, C with parentheses and then the variables inside the parentheses separated by commas. And the way this function is written, the variables have to be in quotation marks. We'll see that in a second. So this is the function. So you open this script and now we're going to uh, run the function. And we see we end up here with balance table in the um, in our output, uh, in our uh, environment, right? So the function is there. Now let's go over and uh, create a uh, data set. Um, we're going to use the cable data set. So I'm going to, I've already installed it, so I'm going to hashtag this. Now notice if I run the clear environment, what's going to happen? Well, if I run the clear environment right now, oh, I lost my balance table function. So go back here and run it again. Now it's in there. Right, so we want to make sure that our balance function is in there before we actually, you know, run the thing that we're doing. Now we'll, um, and actually, you know what we do, let's, let's, to be safe, let's do it this way. We're going to copy the balance table function. <clears throat> so I copied here, and I'm going to show you a trick. Um, here's the balance table function. I'm going to just put an open brace at the beginning of this function, and then a uh, go all the way down to where it says the end of the function and put a close brace. And now notice that line 64 has a little arrow here, a little tick going up. If I click on that, notice what it does. Because the function is between these two braces, uh, Studio just compresses those lines. So I go from line 10 to line 65, and it shows me that there's something in there. There's something written in those 55 lines. It's the function. Uh, I don't need to, however, see that function since I'm never going to change that function. And maybe right here, I'll just write balance table function. So that way, it's in my script after the clearing of the environment, uh, but it's not actually occupying any space in my script. My script is still really simple to read. So I'm going to use the um, cable library, uh, cable extra. So I, I, I run those two uh, library commands. I create a data set called the data frame df so there's df there now i apply the balance table function and i'm going to call the result xx so the balance table function balance table frame right here's my c with the this indicates to r that there's a list inside the whoops sorry inside the parentheses here is the list of the one two three four five variables in quotes then i have the uh, in this case, not a, let's call it treat. Uh, there's my treatment variable, so we'll call it treat. Uh, and then here's my uh, data set, so it's df. Uh, so I run this, and what do I get? Uh, it tells me that there is no variable called treat because I had 
needed to rerun the data frame again. So now I rerun the data frame. I go XX, I run the, this line, right? And now I have something called XX, which is the uh, balance table. So I can display the balance table just by running it like this. But if I want a nicer version of the balance table, I'll use the cable function. So let's see what happens if I run this. So notice that it comes out over here in the viewer. It's a nicer looking uh, table. So let's take this over to our markdown and see what my report would look like if I had this balance table and the table in our markdown. So I'm going to open a script called uh, our markdown, right? I'll just open it from uh, uh, from the template. No, I'll just I'll just open a document and I'll call it uh, I'll call it balance table. And uh, we're just going to do the output in HTML as usual. So I'll just click OK. So there's my function here. Uh, I don't need to do anything to my setup here. Well, maybe I'll, I'll put the library ones in the setup. So I'll copy those in, into the, uh, sorry, right here. Yeah. So I'll copy those into the setup. Uh, and then I'll copy my balance table function, the data frame, and the cable function. So I'm copying them over into the next code chunk. Uh, so uh, interestingly, it unravels the um, uh, the whole function when I do that, but I can re-close it again there. So now it's uh, not quite so uh, obtrusive. Um, I'll take out the uh, all the text here. I'll just leave a little bit of text. I'll leave that little paragraph there. Um, I'll just say, yeah, like this. Do this. I'm going to put echo equals false. Um, and uh, I don't want it to, I just want the cable table. So I'm going to take out this XX that's alone there because that was the original way I was creating the table. Now I'll have the cable table. Um, the cable version of the table. And I'm just going to delete everything else after here. So I'll have the, the table. So this should work. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'll just call it a balance table. And uh, I'll call it balance table test. And I'll save that. And now we'll knit. And we'll wait, and here it comes. There's my report. And notice now I have a decent uh, looking table here that appears in the text. Now I have uh, these uh, comments and uh, uh, that appear up here. I want to get rid of those, right? So we remember that that's uh, comment equals uh, NA. Uh, And uh, warning equals uh, false. And uh, let's put those down in the next code chunk. Let's see if that is all I need, hopefully. And let me re knit. Uh, it's still got the uh, the comments here, and I forget what the uh, what the um, option is. There's some option. Let's try echo equals false too. Should have had that from the beginning. Uh, and let's try knit now. Oh, it might be message. Yes, this is message. Let's see if that's an option. So I'll try message yes there it is so we'll just have message equals false and now we'll knit and hopefully that will now come up with a nice clean table and my text and it still doesn't so something else is uh uh, it's doing this here. So I'm going to, this is annoying me. I'm going to pause this recording briefly and go look on the internet. Hold on a second. 
Ah, silly me, you probably saw that, that I was putting the message equals false in the wrong code chunk. I had it in the upper code chunk, but it needed to be in the lower code chunk. So now let's rerun um, this and uh, see what kind of report we get. And here it comes. There indeed, now we no longer have those messages that are coming. So we have a nice clean report. So that's it for creating this balance table. I'll uh, let you ask me questions if you, uh, if you need to.